we might talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. This may be the first time that I actually go over my five minutes, so I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm here to ask counsel for a council investigation into the misuse of police powers by this administration. I read in both city newspapers that we are conducting between a six to nine month investigation into who created a, who created a Facebook disparaging our mayor. I'd like to take responsibility for all Facebooks di disparaging our mayor as I am probably responsible in one way or another. Either I, Wake Up Oaks Fair, or somebody probably created Facebooks or, or gave a reference to, to doing that. So uh, again, I take responsibility for all Facebooks. So please stop bleeding our money on useless investigations, and let's get down to the parks and solve the problems. Uh, secondly, uh, while disparaging our mayor on Facebook, I found this that I, that I wanted to read to you guys tonight. If you have the time, please read this. Uh, tell me how fair this is. This was written by a citizen last Friday afternoon. I was walking on the square Friday afternoon in Wilkesbury today when an older lady happened to drop her bags and her stuff was all over. While trying to figure out how to pick this up and hold on to her cane, she was being made fun of by three gangbanger types, pants down, rags, jewelry, etc. Uh, they were taking pictures with their boys in the frame. Enter me. I walk over, I start picking up her things, uh, as she begs me in tears not to steal her things. I explained that I was trying to help her. She said thank you. Uh, but but told me that these guys were bothering her and she didn't want me to get hurt by them. I just looked around and grinned. So I'm collecting her things uh, and, and they are calling her all kinds of nags, uh, names from hag to the C word. I hate that word. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. So I, I turned and said, have some respect. This is an elderly woman. She did nothing to you, and she is a lady. Their response was a worthless piece of S-H, maybe. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to clean this up the best I can. Uh, the lady was crying, so I tried to hurry up, uh, and bam, I get clocked in the face. I did nothing because I didn't want to do anything or anything to break down with her still there. So, of course, I got called a PU for not retaliating. Finally, I got her together and moving. They started following her. I grabbed the one who hit me, the ringleader, and said, leave her alone. He laughed and swung at me. I blocked him, and let's just say I taught him manners. While he was down, she, he said, you're screwed because uh, my boys are going to stab you now. Uh, here is where it really gets good. I, I laughed and prepared, and prepared. The cop who was across the street finally came over and said, break it up. He asked what's going on. I replied, you know darn well what's going on because you watched the whole thing go down. It was, I was doing your job. I was told to watch my mouth as he didn't like my attitude. He called for backup and all four of us got patted down. As the lady came back, still crying but trying to tell the cop I had, I had stopped them and was helping her. All three of them were found to have knives and were told to, and told to let go and the one cop seemed a little too friendly with the ringleader, even shook hands with him. I was like, WTF. Well, the cop wrote me a citation for fighting. I said, you've got to be kidding me. I said he was a poor excuse for a cop and he must have his pockets padded. He said that's a smart A answer and it's not going in. Uh, I was like WTF again and he even told the lady to be quiet. Uh, his backup then said you are not taking him anywhere, let me go, took the citation and destroyed it. I said thank you. Uh, he said that he I was free to go and that he would take care of the other officers. So I started walking, walking away and the elderly lady stopped me and gave me a hug and offered me $3. She said that was all the cash she had at the time, but if I wanted more, I could go with her to the ATM. I said, you owe me nothing. I was happy to do it and would do it again. She started to cry and reminded me, and, and reminded me of her son, who I later found out died four years ago in the military attack in Afghanistan. 
uh, and she asked if I if I would stay with her for a bit because she was scared. Needless to say, I did. We shopped for about two hours, talked a whole lot, uh, and walked her home where she gave me the biggest hug ever. I, I gave her my number and told her to call me uh, if she needed anything, going shopping, taking out the garbage, whatever. Uh, she, she again cried and told me she had no family to help her, and I think my phone will ring a lot. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry this was so long. I'd, re I'd really like to know what is wrong with people, especially the cops. If any, if you ask me, the one who is getting a taste from these punks, I'd like to prove it. I'm just glad I was there and glad I made her day. I'd do it again. Uh, I just can't believe it. And it just goes on to say he just can't believe this situation went on. But I, I reading this on Facebook, was horrified to think any of our officers would watch something like that go down. I would request that this council, in its investigative powers, please seize the Hawkeye tapes that may be available from any of the multitude of cameras on our square, find out which officer saw this, see if he was looking in that direction, see something. If he was, good God, reprimand him. But if not, of course, you know, just let them know to be observant of situations like this. When an elderly woman can't walk with her shopping on our square, I don't know what we're becoming here in this situation. Do you know that individual? That I do know that you know, individual, is, and he had that. I do believe this to be true. Do you have a time on it? Uh, it was this Friday, at, um, this past Friday, in the afternoon. I do not have an exact time. Can you give us the name of the gentleman? Or you don't I, I cannot. He asked. Uh, I, I could give, if any of you want to contact, I could give your information to him and have him contact you directly. Can we? Yes. Yeah. Um, could you tell me what part of the square is currently? I do not know. I'll try to find out more information. I just okay. brought you the Facebook post because I know many of you might not see this on Facebook, but definitely you guys need to know what's going on. Uh, there okay. are several Hawkeye cameras there. If we could just pull, I mean, Friday yeah. and see what's going on. It's very uh, uh, difficult to go through the film. That's why it's important to know what the location is. So I'll try to narrow that location. down to watch camera at least. And, we'll go. and I, I will let Mrs. McCarthy know. Let's, 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 let's go through the process. There's a new process to look into these matters. And, and a rough time. Yeah, I'll get the, all I know right now is it's Friday afternoon, but I'll, I'll narrow down the time and location on the square for you. Yeah, if this behavior is taking place, we don't want it to happen, want to stop it. Of course. So naturally, we'll do what we can to investigate it and, and uh, make sure it doesn't happen. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's do